Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another mock video, and today's mock video is my brand new mock, my NCIS building. NCIS is a CBC TV show, and I really enjoy it, so I've decided to make a building out of it, like their headquarters, basically. So it is four stories tall. Here's the very top, the top floor, the middle, the third floor, another floor, and then the, the ground floor. And there's also a small garage on the side. So here's what the front looks like. It's quite similar to theirs on TV. It's got their sign here, and it's got some greenery and some shrubs and some flowers. You don't see the grad, but I had to add that somewhere. And then some windows and a sign that says NCIS and clock. And the, and the big windows and stuff like that. So I'm just going to turn it around now and show you all the details from the other side. On the very top floor, we have MTAC. And then going down to the third floor, we have the main squad room and all the interrogation rooms. On the second floor, we have Abby's lab, and that is actually it. And then on the first floor, we have the evidence garage, we have the main entranceway, and we have the autopsy room. So I might as well start with the evidence garage and work my way up. Here's the squad room. This is where Gibbs and his team work. There's a lot of cool features packed in it. I can just see one just starting to come from the wall there. So this is all their desks, and here at the very end is the elevator I was telling you about. On this side, trying to move the camera, they had the NCIS Most Wanted wall, and I had the idea of putting all the actual cast members' faces on it with their names. So every, all the main characters in NCIS are on this NCIS Most Wanted wall. So I think that's kind of cool. I have another, the second elevator that goes up to MTAC here, and we have the director standing on the balcony. And this MTAC restricted area, and we have another agent just coming up the staircase. Here in the uh, squad room, they also have each computer, and they have their monitor for when they do other stuff. And then over here, we have the interrogation area. Let me just move, sorry, let me just move my camera. They have this water pitcher when their guests get hungry and they go to, or thirsty. And they have the camera and all the recording equipment to record what's going on behind the glass. And then, believe it or not, behind the glass, they have two table, or one table and two chairs, but you can't really see them. There's also a door back there, but again, it's really hard to see, so I'm not going to even try. Here is MTAC, and in case you're wondering how I do anything up here, it's because the roofs come off. So this roof comes off modular style, it's only attached with by three studs, and you can, it's a fully movable roof. And here's the roof, it's got the skylights and some satellite dishes and some antennas, kind of cool stuff like that. Here it's got the helicopter on the MTAC roof, we have the helicopter. When you remove the helicopter, you just remove the roof, and there all the MTAC equipment is, all their computers, stuff like that, and then you just put the roof back on, and it's all good, all fun and games. First off, here's the evidence garage. We just have one agent here just looking at some safes, another agent here working on the NCIS truck, and I'll just back that out of here. And here's the NCIS truck, but we're pretending that's not in use, we're just pretending. And then the garage door, which it's so hard to do from this side, I'll guarantee break it probably. So that opens up from that side, and then it pushes back down, and I didn't even break it, wow. Here in the evidence garage we have some server equipment, just stuff like, just cool, kind of, just there. And then we have these tracks for when they have to blow up people's tires. And then this is like their evidence lockup. There's the bars and stuff, and there's evidence inside. There's just little crates I created with some guns and stuff like that. In there. Here we have some uh, tools, and then here are gun shell cabinets, sort of thing. Because I didn't know where to put their guns, so each figure or each person has a cab with their name on it, or the first letter of their name, and it holds a gun for them. So Gibbs, Denozo, McGee and Ziva. Moving on down to the main lobby area, we have a metal detector here with an agent just sitting at a desk watching people go to the elevator and stuff. 
ready to hit the panic button if somebody bad comes in. And then we have the first at the second elevator shaft that goes all the way up to the squad room. And this is the other elevator shaft that goes all the way up to the squad room, but you can't see it from this angle, barely. And then here's the autopsy room. So now I'm, this is the, I forgot to mention that over here, if you want to get in for play features, this roof does fold up so you can stick your hand right in. Because I wanted to design this so I could easily change things while, as I go along. So here's the autopsy room and you're probably wondering how do I get my fingers in here. And that's because the next floor, Abby's lab, it does hurt floor and his ceiling. It does slide out so you can have more play features. So in the autopsy room, we have Caitlin Todd, one of the NCIS agents from season one and two, who is now gone on a metal slab. We have a second metal slab back there, all Ducky's tools and equipment, a desk, a body breather, and then just some more tools and a light so we can see what he's working on. Now let's move to the second floor. And actually the only thing on the second floor is Abby's lab. The elevator, the second elevator, this elevator, comes right into Abby's lab. And it's going to be, again, it's going to be hard to show you Abby's lab's features. So we'll just push the building back and we'll slide out Abby's lab and we'll talk about it quickly here. So here at the very front of the lab I have some diamonds and some chains and you know she's just kind of doing what she does just looking at all of it and then you turn it around here and that's her suit she wears in the NCIS evidence garage the back of her desk here and then just a cabinet so when I turn it around there is her working at a computer with her calf pal her Bert her more gems more gems then we have a shelf full of magnifying glass and a uh, bullhorn I think it's a bullhorn and then we just have some machinery back there that nobody knows what it does, but only she does. So I will slide that back in. And also at the very back, which is kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to try. We have a monitor just so she can show everybody what she's doing. Now let's take a look at the squad room and the third and fourth levels. Now I have to show you the cast of NCIS in minifigure form. At the very end here, we have the NCIS director Vance. We have McGee, Special Agent McGee, Special Agent David, the Metal Examiner Ducky, Special Agent Tony. We have Abby, the Forensic Scientist, and Special Agent Gibbs. So here's one last look at all the figures in Lego format. Thank you for watching this mock video of my NCIS Lego mock. This mock took me more than a day and a half to do. A lot, a lot, a lot of bricks. I don't even know how many, and a lot, it was a lot of fun to build it. So, thank you for watching, and share this video with all your friends. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.